I am going home. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can Hi. Hello. Okay, so before we jump into our regularly scheduled programming, I wanted to take a moment to talk about some online Korean language classes that are offered by the sponsor of today's video, Korean Connection. So if you've never heard of Korean Connection before, they are a nonprofit organization located in West Michigan that work to promote Korean culture and foster cross-cultural connections, as you might have guessed from, you know, their name, Korean Connection, yes. They host a variety variety of like different events and classes, but because it is the beginning of the year that this video is coming out, yes, yes, my videos are always a month behind. I know that so many of you, because I know you very, very well, I know so many of you have either determined that this year, in 2023, you are going to start learning Korean, or if you've already started learning Korean, you found that, not found, you have decided that this is the year that you are going to study Korean seriously. And if you're not in this group, why aren't you in this group? You should be in one of these two groups. Korean Connection offers six week long level one and level two Korean classes over Zoom, meaning no matter where you are in the United States or no matter where you are abroad, if you are interested in learning Korean, you can register for their classes. So the level one class is going to teach you how to read hunger, how to introduce yourself, how to order food at a restaurant, you know, the basics. And then the level two class is going to focus more on helping you you create your own sentences. So if you're not sure which level best suits you because, I don't know, maybe you've been self-studying Korean for a while now, or maybe you've studied it like on and off and on and off to the point where you're like, I don't know, I don't, what am I? What level am I? I don't know. There's no need to worry because Korean Connection gives all of its students a placement test before the beginning of the semester, if you will. So you don't have to worry about the classes being too easy or too hard. And and while I do want to mention that these classes aren't going to be the same thing as taking a whole semester of Korean at university or studying at a language school for a semester, I do think they're really, really great for those of you who are wanting to learn Korean more casually, those of you who are maybe working full time and can't commit a lot of time to like reviewing grammar structures or like studying or just commit a lot of time to a class, or for those of you who are already students and have your own like schoolwork that you need to do and you don't really feel like you should be adding more to that but you still really want to learn Korean or like dip your toe in the water, you know? Because it's like a fun, nice group environment where you can meet other people, have some native instructors, basically not add any unnecessary stress to your potentially already very busy schedules. So while Korean Connection hosts these Korean classes multiple times a year, the next session starts on January 14th. So registration ends on January 7th. So you guys need to move quickly, or at least I encourage you to move quickly if this is something that you are interested in. I also want to mention that these classes are on Saturdays, Saturday mornings at Eastern Standard Time, so please take that into consideration when determining if these will like fit into your schedule or if this is something that you want to do. Please, please, please keep that in mind. I'm going to leave the links for Korean Connection as well as their homepage for class registration um, and their Facebook uh, link in the description box for you guys. So even if this semester isn't the right time for you to be taking Korean classes or if you're watching this after January 14th and you're like, snaps! or I guess technically January 7th, you're like, snaps, snaps. Um, you can follow them on Facebook to find out when the next uh, group of sessions is. So yeah, I highly encourage you guys to check them out. Thank you to Korean Connection for sponsoring today's video and for introducing Korean culture to more and more people. We love that. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. Hi, hello, 안녕하세요, you, 안녕하세요, you. It's Italia, and oh my goodness, I know you already saw the title of this video, but yes, I am going home for the holidays. Yes, that is correct. I am going back to the United States for about three weeks, so yes, I am uh, not leaving Korea. Like, I'm leaving Korea, but I'm not permanently leaving Korea, because I know that's what a lot of you guys are wondering, since I technically, or not technically, I haven't. I haven't shared with you guys what I'm doing in Korea now that I graduated language school. Um, 
now that I finished language school like four months ago, almost five months ago now, yeah. I know, I haven't shared with you and I'm sorry, I'm waiting for all my like, all the dust to settle on things and then I will share with you. So give me another like month and a half or so for things to like, you know, get settled and then I will tell you. But anyway, um, there were some things I had planned for December that I thought I was, that. And I thought basically we're gonna keep me here in Korea for the holidays and yesterday afternoon all those plans got pushed back to the beginning of January and while I was very disappointed I was sitting at the bus stop being like what am I gonna do now for December and then I was like should I go home can I go home can I afford to go home because flights in and out of Korea are crazy expensive like between two and three thousand dollars so i didn't think i was going to be able to afford it but you know i was like well let me just look there's no harm in looking i looked and i found a really great flight for a thousand four hundred dollars which normally i would say is a super expensive flight to korea because you know back in the day beating before corona um i was paying like nine hundred dollars for a flight to korea um but i found one for a thousand four hundred and i was like i'm going home so i called my parents and was like should I go home? I can be there on Friday, <laughs> which today is Wednesday. Yes, I bought my flight last night and I'm gonna be flying out in less than 48 hours. So I have so much, like so many errands to run because I was not mentally prepared to be going home for like almost a month. Um, so we have some errands to run. I need to go to the Chumin Center because I just signed my lease or like re-signed my lease to stay another year in this apartment. But um, I'm pretty sure I need to go report it to the government since the terms of the lease have changed. Which if you're not familiar what I'm talking about, because I don't think I ever brought it up here. Um, whenever you move somewhere, you have to take a copy of your lease to your local community center or immigration center and report it. Anyway, uh, I need to do that and I need to go into KT and ask what types of international plans are available to me because I only have a Korean phone number now. Yes, I got rid of my American phone number almost a year ago, if not more than a year ago, so I don't want to be charged with crazy international stuff for, you know, using my data in the United States. Um, also, I got a new phone! <laughs> this is such a long-winded intro because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while, like almost three weeks uh, since the last video that I filmed um, was recorded. Uh, but yeah, my sister and two of my really good friends from college came to Korea last week. Um, my sister brought me a new phone. Yeah, because I didn't want the clicky sound. Um, so, yay! Um, she's gonna be so mad. She's gonna be like, you made me bring you so many things from America just for you to fly home the next week. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I wasn't planning on going home. Um, but anyway, so many things have happened. Uh, so we need to go out, we need to go buy souvenirs, get my tasks done, meet with my friends for like dinner and drinks tonight because I didn't want to cancel on them. I'm pretty sure I'm meeting at least one of you tomorrow because I was supposed to have a meetup next week. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to have a meetup next week um, with at least like 10, 15 of y'all. And then I was like, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go home. Um, I will meet all of you individually if that's what it takes to still meet you if you're not here in January. So yeah, uh, anyway, we have like crazy plans and I'm also sorry that this is probably the only Christmas content you will get, uh, Korea Christmas content you will get um, this year. I'm really sorry, I was really excited to sh like film so many things for you. I had so many plans, but um, that I had the opportunity to go home and I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> I have not been home in almost a year and a half. I'm going home, so. Anyway, let's get out, do all the tasks that Natalia needs to do, um, and maybe like go to a cafe because America doesn't have cafes, so it's gonna be like a little like, okay, this is my last cafe visit probably maybe for like the next, basically month. I know I'm really, I'm being really crazy and extra, but like I'm still processing the fact that I'm going home. Okay, so like I was saying, the place we're going is near Gyeonggukgung, which is right there. That's the backside. I don't know if you can see. But um, a few months ago, like in the summer, we were hanging out. And I found this street, which is really cute. Like it leads all the way to Angguk, which is like a traditional area that's becoming like full of aesthetic cafes and things like that. Um, but there is... A souvenir shop here that sells really beautiful postcards 
as well as these little like Korean monitos that I want to buy for my parents. So we're gonna see what I think suits my family. Look, we're already here. <laughs> Look guys, this is a painting. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. So this is really pretty. I also like these. Like I love the illustration postcards. This is really pretty too. So I'm awful, so I think I'm gonna get this one for me, this top one. Um, and then I think I'm gonna get this one for my family. I'm thinking like if I should get one of these as well. But like there are so many pretty ones. We I don't know what to get. These are so cute. Ooh. The branch got my hair. <laughs> But Nick, look at my new jacket. <laughs> my outfit. This is a new skirt too. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that bridge really got my hair, huh? I'm realizing how silly it looks. Oi, oi. Okay, but look at this cafe. It's so nice. So I 100% just spent like 80, almost 90 dollars on souvenirs. Oh my goodness, there's another mirror. Okay, wait. So I really, really thought this was like another patio out that way until I was like, who's that girl walking at me? Oh, it's me. Um, this is a much better view of my fit though. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, no, I really spent like $90 on souvenirs, which I will show you later. I got something for all of my tios and all my tias and my parents. I still need to get something for like both sets of grandparents, but I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. I definitely want to hit up a Starbucks because Starbucks has really nice like mugs, like Korea themed mugs and like tote bags and stuff that I've just like, I've always looked at them and thought my mom would love this, but I've never bought it until, you know, because I, I wanted to wait until I was going to go back home. So we're going to have to find a Starbucks, but first I need my daily coffee. I'm not wasting any dreams. Christmas, I've made my wish upon that star. So I already took a sip, but look at this lemonade I got. It's like raspberry, black raspberry, lemonade, raspberry, it, I don't remember, but it looked yummy. And it was like a bestseller, so I ordered it and it's really cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So. Some of my influencer deliverables are due today for the Pu'ul-kyung trip that I recently took. I tried to vlog it for you guys, but it like our schedule for that trip was sincerely so hectic. Like we were constantly behind and told that we had like 30, 40 minutes to get content of like a whole like travel location. So it was hard enough to like get the Instagram content that I was like contractually obligated to make. Um, to the point where I like I wasn't able to film it for YouTube, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. So that like the last Instagram post that I'm supposed to make for like that whole trip is due today by end of day. So I think I'm gonna work on that. I'm not sure if I want to like make a reel or if I want to do like a regular post. Um, lately, this is so random and like off topic, but lately I've been kind of been. I hate saying this as a YouTuber. I've been more interested in making Instagram content and like attempting to grow my Instagram account rather than make YouTube videos. I think it's just because it's like less work, both like when you're creating the content as well as when you're like, if for example, if it's a reel, like the editing and stuff takes less time than making a whole YouTube video and it seems to reach more people as well <laughs> it like it's that and then at the same time like for example if i hang out with my friends it's really easy to make like a reel of like a cafe and not like 
mm, miss the time that I'm supposed to spend with my friends. If that makes sense, like with a YouTube video, there's a lot of time spent setting up the camera and getting all the B-roll and everything. Like you kind of sacrifice some of the time you have like with your friends, but when it's like a reel or an Instagram picture, it doesn't take as much time away from your friends as like a YouTube, like YouTube filming does. So since I've been wanting to be like a little bit more chill with my content, um, I've been having more fun with the Instagram content uh, than YouTube content. Awkward. But also, how cute is this cafe now that I've shown you a little bit? Also, I know this is called like Mirror Room Cafe. I think, that, I think that's what it was called. Um, but look at this, there's another mirror. <laughs> like this whole place looks like it's two or three times as big as it actually is because the whole wall here is like really cleanly kept mirrors anyway I'm gonna work on that Instagram content that I told you that I need to make oh my goodness I'm sorry that was like a little burp um, I'm gonna work on that Instagram content and then we're gonna head to Anna because I don't remember if I said this earlier if I did I'm sorry but we are gonna go meet with my Lekka friends because we are having our last meeting of the semester, which I know I am not a student anymore, but they told me I could keep going because they like me. <laughs> also, I feel like they're like my Korean family, if that makes sense, like Korea-based family outside of like my other friends. Like I see them so often that I was really thankful when they were like, yeah, no, just keep coming. You're not a student anymore, but it's fine. Just like come hang out with us. Um, so yeah, they're having their last meeting of the semester today. So we're gonna go and have dinner and drinks with them. And then I will need to continue packing. Yeah. Which my list consists is to always be wherever you are. This year there will be no praying. For the snow to fall It would not make a difference To me at all No, I'm not wasting any dreams This Christmas I've made my wish And it came true So I met the friends. <laughs> this is Insu. <laughs> anyway, we had some. What did we eat? Was it car carby? Was it some Okay, we had some very thick some as you saw. And now we're all like socializing. That was a horrible angle. And like talking to people at other tables and mingling. We're gonna, um, I don't even know how to say Engineering? Engineering. Rocket science. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I did it for all the tables. So Grace is trying um, Robbie for the first time. It seems she doesn't like it. It's already in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to find a small piece to give her. Oh my god, you can't hear him. Wait, 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 show me, show me, show me, show me. Where is it? I can't even, you can't even see it. It's moving too much. <laughs> okay, you're good, you're good. So she has like a little bit of wit or raw meat with like the corn cheese thing. <laughs>
Friendship and Christmas in Korea. And McDonald's. And McDonald's. And McDonald's, he says. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he calls it Chingu Bells. <laughs> also, this is Martin. You haven't met him before. Hi, camera. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> He's been here the whole time. And Hakuk, too. This is my one Chingu and my one um, Opa in this whole club. <laughs> Now I'm orange, but it's fine. Okay, so I haven't talked to you since Chunja yesterday. Oi. Um, we had a great time and like ah, so many things to say, but I will leave it with I'm going to miss so many people. And I say that because a lot of the people yesterday are or were exchange students, uh, meaning they will, the majority of them will not be here when I come back. So goes the Wigwigan cycle. Anyway, um, so, I got my nails done earlier today. Look at my. Oi, oi. Hold on, I have to hide. Come on, focus. I got my nails done. Looky, looky. Christmas nails. Can you see them well? They look like claws. Rawr. Um, so, I looked on Pinterest and saw all these different designs, and I went in and we made a Frankenstein design, which came out to this, which isn't exactly what I wanted. But considering I did not want to pay more than I already paid, which I paid a lot for these. I paid more for these nails than I did for last year's Christmas nails. And the reason I compared them to last year's Christmas nails is because last year's Christmas nails were also very expensive. And these were more. Which I'm very happy with them. They're definitely like more white than like the original color I wanted. I wanted them to be kind of like a milky, sparkly color. But in order for like budget's sake, we, would, we did like a white gradient. Which just means like they take the nail polish with the sponge and go doo -doo 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 -doo. Anyway, I will show you my nails more nicely um, later in the video. I need to go meet some of you right now. So I think I said this earlier in the video. Um, I had set up a meetup for next week, which clearly I'm going home. So I mess like the people that said they were going to go. I messaged them being like, if you're going to be here in January, can we please meet in early January as a group? And if you are not going to be here in January, like if you're a tourist or you're leaving at the end of December because you're an ex like an exchange student or something, let me know. I will make time to see you on Thursday, which today is Thursday. Um, so I'm meeting up with three of you. It should be three of you. Three of you today for dinner and we need to leave like right now. So Natalia is like slightly early because if you're not slightly early in Korea, you end up being late because public transit. Um... Yes. So I managed to pull myself together. I, like, I did my nails. It took like two hours, which is a very long time. And now I'm speed talking because I'm stressed. And then I came home, had lunch, put on a Christmas movie. I put on Christmas with the Cranks. This is a 2004 Christmas movie. Very good. If you're like my age, meaning like 27, because um, I turned 27 exactly a week ago. Ooh. <laughs> um, if you're about my age, you will enjoy the nostalgic Christmas vibes from that movie. And I say that because, I don't know, I don't like more recent Christmas movies. Like anything, like 2018 to now, all the Netflix ones, I'm like, I don't know. I haven't found one that I like yet. They're just too, I don't want to say predictable, because that's not the right word. 
but it's just i just i can't i can't vibe with it i just can't i like my nostalgic christmas movies that's a sign that i'm getting older is i'm like back in my day and anyway um yeah so i did that while packing my room is a mess but anyway we need to go so i can meet y'all and then i'm gonna show you the souvenirs that i bought my family because i bought even more souvenirs today on my way home from uh, getting my nails done in Hongdae. <laughs> Goodness, the last time I'm gonna see my tower for a while. Zoom, camera, zoom. My tower. Okay, so I thought there was gonna be a lot more traffic, so I ended up getting here like 30 minutes early. <laughs> at least you, at least I'm not gonna be late. Well, at least there's that. So I'm just kind of wandering around getting a lot of b-roll, you know, because I haven't shown you like anything from this morning other than like a few shots of the nail place. Um, but anyway, oh my gosh, is my shoe is untied again? It's like the third time in 20 minutes. Um, so I said I got some more souvenirs, right? I got like a set of mugs for like one of my grandmas, but I wanted to get them both, like both sides of the family mugs. But at the time, I forgot my card, so I only had cash on me. I was like, I don't have more than like $50 of cash, which even then is a lot. So I found out there's a Starbucks up here. So I'm hoping they have the set of like Korea mugs I'm hoping for so I can buy them and just be like done. Done with souvenirs. Because that would be a good reason to get here early. Anyway, okay. I have to go up the stairs to the Starbs. <laughs> So they have this one. This is not the one I was looking for. But this could work. Because like on my dad's side, my abuelito already passed, so there's only one grandma technically. Or like one grandparent on my dad's side to buy something for her. So this could work. But I kind of want to get her the whole the, like the set of two. Like so they get the exact same thing. Not that they'll know, but I don't know. I mean I don't think she'd mind, but. Okay, I need to think about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go for it, go! So I found the um, subscribers. We're here in a little booth. I'm gonna wait. Okay, wait. There we go. Boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I asked them if they would feel comfortable doing Chagis Wages. Uh, they said yes. They also said, how do I look? So they started fixing themselves. Um, but we'll start on this side since you're next to me. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kika from Poland. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Give me one second. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, I hit record. <laughs> so, hi, I'm Mirati and I'm from Spain. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jackie and I'm from Chicago. Oh, me again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we're back. So the main reason I turned on the camera right now is because I said I was going to show you the uh, souvenirs that I bought for my family. I mean, I already showed you some, but if you are my family, leave. <laughs> uh, unless it's past Christmas, then that's fine because you can see. So I got my abuelita and my abuelito and my other abuelita these. I showed you earlier, but these were good these um cup sets from starbucks so these are they say so and jeju which is kind of funny because i've never been to jeju um but look can you see i hope you can see i think you can see you see you'll see yeah they're cute like honestly these aren't the cups that i originally wanted to get them they have like bigger mugs but i couldn't find them all i went to three or four different starbucks locations could not find the larger ones so these are kind of small <laughs> but um it's fine and then i got a tote bag for my mother 
Will she use it? I hope so, but I do not know. So I have been eyeing this tote bag for my mom for like months. It's a Korea themed tote bag. Look, look, can you see? Do you see like all the Korea themed like location and food? Obviously in the Starbucks colors. I love this tote so much. Like part of me wants to buy it for myself. Like it's a big, like it's a good size too. It's a nice tote bag. And it was only like 15,000 won, which is really affordable because most tote bags, which are smaller than this, are 10. And this is like a big one. And it has like a base to it. It's not just like a sleeve. It's like a, a nice tote bag. But, um, and it's double sided, like double printed. Um, actually, the backside is different. It has different stuff. So I'm really happy with it. Love it. For my mom. And then I got basically like a matching tumbler. You see, please focus on the tumbler. Hold on. Oi. Maybe I think you can see. But yeah, it has like basically all the same like landmarks and stuff in the Starbucks colors. Um, oi. Okay. Does my mom need another tumbler? No. Did she, is she getting one? Yes. And I say my mom, but I might give this to my dad. I don't know. I know I bought it for my parents. So maybe I'll give this to my dad. I don't know. We'll see. They live in the same house. So basically a gift for one of them is a gift for both of them. Um, <laughs> Natalia logic. So now it's all like the Starbucks stuff that I bought. And what is this? I'm going to see my little cousins or some of my smallest cousins like two days after I get into um, the United States because they're going to go spend Christmas with um my tia side of the family. So I bought them cute little like clippies. So I'm sure you guys have noticed as they're becoming trendy everywhere, but claw clips are very like fashionable. So I found these cute little ones. These they're like um you see they're butterflies and they have a really cool like print to them. So these girls um one of them is in elementary for sure. I think she's third grade maybe going into fourth grade um and then the youngest one or the younger girl i think she's still in pre-k i think she might be in kindergarten now i'm not sure um but i think they'll really like these butterfly clips so i got them these and then i got them <laughs> i got them each like these little like clips so they're like christmas themed little clippies so you just clip it on the top of your head and it's a hat i think they'll really like these so i got them these just little things like i didn't plan on getting something for all my cousins because i don't think i'm gonna see all my cousins also i have like 18 or 19 cousins like i have a lot of cousins um so i can't afford to get them all something especially considering most of them are like either not either most of them are in college or have graduated college already which means they like expensive things uh natalia does not have money for that um but yes so i got that for them and then I bought like more like at the souvenir shop yesterday. Anyway, these are the stationary pads that I showed you at oi oi oi. Okay, wait, hold on. I should hold them from the top. These are the stationary pads that I saw at the souvenir shop and I thought they were super cute. Honestly, I don't know who I'm going to gift them to. I got them as in like, okay, you never really know who you're going to see when you go home, uh, but you always want to give them something. So I got these as like, who are they going to? I don't know. I mean, I think I might give one to my friend Abby or Abigail, um, who's another like, she's a language YouTuber. So I might give, I might see her. So I might give her some, but um, then I got this little bag. Wait, I can take this out. I got this little like traditional Korean pouch to put like the um, goodies in. So assuming I see Abigail, I bought this. So I got this Namsan magnet for Abigail, assuming I see her. And then I got this little like um, charm as well for Abigail. I hope she will like it. I also hope I'm gonna see her. Um, but assuming I see her, I got her these. And then for all my tios and tias, cause as you can assume from the number of cousins that I just said I have, I have a lot, a lot of tios and tias. So I got a ton of um postcards yeah like i don't know if you guys will be able there we go so you can see like okay okay we're gonna try and do this so 
So I got this one. You see? Yeah. So this one is that one's actually for me. <laughs> um. So I have this postcard on my wall, but I love it so much. It's like Noms and Tower and like the skyline a little bit. So I got this. We I got this postcard of Kyungbokgung. Really nice and pretty. This is where BTS did uh or saying Microcosmos for Jimmy Fallon's um show back in like what was it 2020 early 2021 one of the two and then we have this postcard which is like winter at Toksugung palace which is a palace that i have not visited yet and then we have this beautiful postcard of Sungnaemun, which i have taken you guys to before it's one of like the big gates from the original like seoul uh city wall um it's like in central seoul too it's really beautiful um and it's one of the few gates you can actually walk up to um, most of them are like guarded off by fences and you can't go in there, but this one you can. So the next postcard is of Kyungbokgung again. It's like the central building. Oi, oi, this, there we go. There we go. You see? Really pretty. Then we have the Puchong, um Hanomar with Namsan Tower in the back. And then the last postcard is also of Kyungbokgung. It's like the area in the back of the palace. So I've basically, with the exception of this postcard and the one that was for me, I got two copies of every single one just in case I forgot somebody. And then I got some pictures, which I will not give you close-ups of, but I got pictures um, of me <laughs> in like uh, Christmas like antlers, reindeer antlers or whatever from my family. I'm gonna give them to my abuelitos and my mom and dad. And then the last gift I want to show you, the last gift I got, I don't think I can actually show you now that I think about it. It's in a taped box. So these are the little monitos that you saw earlier in the souvenir shop. I got one for my, or I got a set for my mom and dad. I got the king and queen ones just on like their daily outfits. Um, I saw these and was like, I want to get those for my parents when I go home. And then boom going home and I was like oh snap gotta go buy them so these were 40,000 won and I think they're really really nice okay anyway Natalia is going to go shower so she can have time to dry her hair um and I'm gonna pack 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 um so yes thank you for uh so far thank you so far for enjoying this very chaotic vlog and dealing with me doing crazy things when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life.